Hello everyone, just about ready to go here for the second round of this 8-4 draft of Dragons of... Ooh, wow, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> of Dragons of Tarkir. With our sweet red-black deck, we will be on the play. And do we have a keeper here? I believe we do. Two lands a bit risky. I mean, if we draw a third land, we can hit Hardened Berserker and then get up to four. So I am going to keep it here. We've got a two-drop. Not a very aggressive one, but I'm going to lead with Mountain. We have a Mardu Scout in the deck somewhere, so it's always good to lead with Mountain. Up against Black. Okay, that was a good draw. Lands are good. Lands are very good. So we're going to hit Berserker on three. And then on four. Oh, he defeated my Dragon Lord Servant. Okay. Sure. Sweet, we've got a thing to play on turn four now. Also, we have a Tail Slash if he just plays like an annoying threat or whatever. Mm, might Tail Slash that. Well, let's go ahead and attack here and see what happens. I'm happy with the trade. We have a Swift War Kite to get this back anyway. Yeah, he's not going to trade. Um, I'm just going to play the Outrider here. Next turn, if we hit land, we can get the War Kite down. Getting back Dragon Lord Servant? Not the greatest, <laughs> if I'm honest. Definitely not blocking here. Ambuscade Shaman. Okay, so this is the... This guy's got a pretty aggressive deck, it looks like. We can hit Swift Warkite here. I think I might just want to kill this Ambuscade Shaman, though. Just to get it out of the way. Like, Then we can attack for 7. Yeah, let's just do that. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, they don't fight. For some reason, I was thinking they were going to fight, and I'm like, wait a minute, this isn't good. And I remember how Tail Slash works. Alright, so this is fine. Next turn, I'll still be able to Swift War Kite, probably. Um, if not, I'll have Reach of Shadows if you play something scary. It looks like this matchup's going to be really quick and really racy, so... He's probably in the same type of deck. Okay, he leaves it back. Interesting. Colgan Monument. Well, I could just kill this and attack for 7 again. Like, he's got something here. Not sure what the right play is here. I don't really want a Swift War Kite to get a Dragon Lord Servant back, but I want my Sabretooth Outrider to live. Um, oh, I can't kill it with Reach of Shadows. Ha! <laughs> Forgot how that worked. I... <laughs> I think I do attack with Outrider here. It's not great, but like if he kills it, if he flips it up into something, I can always kill it. And if he blocks, like I can just Swift War Kite to get back Dragonlord Servant. Oh, he just doesn't block. Take seven? That's interesting. <laughs> Maybe he has, like, a Wrath? I'm just going to play the Monument and pass. I could leave up Reach of Shadows, but this lets me play the War Kite before combat next turn. Okay, it's a Tarka Freet. Is he going to be able to do 17? There's no way, right? He probably should have just blocked this. There's no way he can do 17 this turn. And if I hit a land, this monument will be able to attack as well. And then he's just very dead. What? Okay. Oh, Butcher's Glee. Yeah, well, now I wish I left up Reach of Shadows. Because he gets to gain 9 and do 9 to us. Now I really wish I'd Reach of Shadows up. Well, I can attack for 4, 8. I can attack for 11, which is not lethal. I can attack... I can play 
Dragon Lord, mm -hmm. Servant off the War Kite and get in for four, five, six, seven, eight, and then have a War Kite mm -hmm. back. I could just attack for seven, leave up this mm -hmm. activation and a Reach of Shadows. I could also just Reach of Shadows this now. Like, I'm a little scared he's just going to go Teamer Battle Rage on this and attack. I think the play is to just attack for 7 past the turn. And we'll see what he does here. If it's Butcher's Glee, it's fine because it takes it out of combat. I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to pass priority because he has to do something here. Yeah, he's a teamer battle raging it. This is why we didn't get any. There we go. And that's a nice little two for one, and that'll be the game probably. What could he have here? Could he have a removal spell for two mana? I don't. Oh, uh, he could have ultimate price. He could just have a creature. Oh, it's an angler. That should be fine. We can still get... We, that's still lethal. Yeah, we, we have lethal. And he showed me that he has angler. Alright, sweet. So we're in the mirror here. He's got all the team of battle rages, butchers, glees, and um, ambuscade shamans. He's playing defeat as well. So this is going to be a pretty quick game, either way. Um, is there anything we want for the mirror match? I like Wild Slash, I like Typhoid Rats, I like all of our instant speed removal. Devils and Gloom's gonna be good, it kills the Tarka of Freet, um, Tail Slash, Reach of Shadows, Deathwind, they're all good. Could I want just more 2-drops? Maybe? Butcher, maybe? Mind Rot, nah. Vengeance, maybe? Nah, I don't think I need it, I'm just gonna run it back. I think we're in good shape here. Um, okay, yeah, I'll keep this. It's got turn one Zergo. No black mana. He mulliganed as well, so... Oh, and he mulliganed to five. But I'm going to keep this. It's got Zergo on one, followed by Wild Slash. So hopefully Zergo is going to get in a bunch of damage here. Got a turn four Dragonloft idol. Uh, I wouldn't mind drawing one swamp. Maybe a three drop. Like a Tarka Free would be awesome here. Calcisma Behemoth. Well, that's big. Fortunately, can't do anything with it. Well, we're not drawing great either. He's gonna get a hit us for five here. It's kind of disgusting that, yeah. Oh, Warbringer? Jeez, we can't kill that either. Alright, we're in trouble. Come on, deck. Okay, there's the Atarka free to turn late. Would I rather just play Dragonloft Idol? Because then next turn I can play a Freet, still not have mana to flip it. But if I play a Freet here, I have Wild Slash up. I think that's good enough. A little terrified of that Warbringer, though. He's a lot on a lot less cards than us, but he's drawn very well here. Oh, he's attacking for eight. I think I'm just gonna take it here because I can hit back for nine. All right, all right. Say bad. This is a short game for sure. Okay, now here's the question. Do I flip this and get in seven nine damage? Or do I just play a Dragonloft Idol? I kinda like just playing Dragonloft Idol. Holding up uh, Wild Slash. 
Okay, you could also have removal here, and we gotta get blown out for going for it. This can block Warbringer as well. I could block and use Wild Slash, but I'm not going to. If he has Tumor Battle Rage, I'm still not dead. Ooh, Tail Slash is good. One, two, three, and then I have enough to flip. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, no. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve exaxes. Let's go for it. If not, we're dead to. Uh... We're dead to a team or battle rage here, but I think we just go for it. This is exactly lethal. <laughs> and we get there. All right, so we were a little fortunate he multi five that game. He had a really good hand, though. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait around again for a while for the finals. But sweet. This deck's got there. We're in the finals again of an 8-4. Like, geez, I've been on an insane tear. So uh, we will see you guys in the finals.